Hello everyone and welcome to this week's presentation on the basics of skill development. Today I will be briefly touching on three aspects of skill development that every coach should have a basic understanding of. The three aspects are methods of teaching new skills, phases of development, and ways to improve development. Listed here are a handful of methods that you can use to introduce new skills. The most common are verbal instruction paired with a demonstration, but there are alternatives. As an athlete, personally, I understand better by seeing rather than listening, so videos help me to understand skills faster. Diagrams and photo sequences can also be beneficial to supply your athletes with. Another important thing to have basic understanding of are the stages of development. There are three stages consisting of cognitive, associative, and autonomous stage. The cognitive phase is the phase where the athlete has the least understanding of the skill and needs specific information to eventually be able to self-correct. Moving into the associative stage, there are less mistakes and the athlete should be able to recognize most errors and how to correct them. Finally comes the autonomous stage. In this stage, the skill is automatic, so to find out if the athlete has actually reached this stage, you can ask them questions like why did you do that or what went wrong and they should be able to give you the correct response. And the last thing I'm going to cover today are ways to improve skill development. So there are three ways that I listed that you can improve skill development, and that's individual meetings, goal setting, and focus on the process, not the outcome. For individual meetings, come up with a game plan that will help the athlete achieve higher success and go over that plan with them. Go over what training will look like for them for the next while and ask if there's anything they need from you specifically to succeed. Goal setting is important because it allows them to recognize where they can make improvements and come up with a plan to succeed. And lastly, focus on the process, not the outcome. After all, you don't climb a mountain just by looking at the top. <laughs> Thank you and tune in next week.